future lies above a secret, eerie and foreboding underworld, a labyrinth of dark, dank and ominous tunnels. The Most Haunted team will focus their investigation around Prague's waterworks, a maze of underground streams which once made up the city's sewer system. This is an area allegedly so active with paranormal phenomena that many local people who work here dare not make mention of the spirits for fear of who may be listening in the dark. Connected to Prague's River Voltava, this underground waterworks proved a murky grave for many unfortunate souls claimed by the river's deadly current. Tales abound of a time when as many as one corpse a day would find its way into these once putrid waters, and the tale of one unlucky man who was chopped and sliced amid the waterworks' many mechanisms is typical of the gruesome past for which this location is infamous. The Valtava has a long and bloody history, and it's likely that victims of battles throughout the century would have washed up the narrow drainage tunnels beneath the city streets. Do these vengeful warriors now haunt this grimy netherworld? If they do, they are in good company, as the waterworks is alleged to be Prague City's most unwelcoming and paranormally active location, something the Most Haunted team will likely find out tonight as they leave civilization to delve deep, deep underground. That is the location of tonight's investigation, right here. And Stuart and Chris have already begun tonight's vigil in that subterranean city below the city. Let's see the latest from them. Will you stick around all night for us? Will you show yourself to other people who are in this building? Could you give them a fright? Maybe touch them on the shoulder. I've just heard that noise again. I got it as well. That, the that, I, I keep mason. It, the, the, I keep calling it, I've named it the mason sound, if you like, because that's what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they're just chipping away. It sounds stupid, but is something playing with us, making the noise down there, to get us down there, and then coming back up here with another noise? And we're just being, we're a tennis ball in between. Yeah, so we're just going in between, aren't I mean, we? It's not, it's a bit unnerving, but I don't feel terrified, terrified. But I think it's absolutely fascinating. This, this has got me, Chris, this thing here. Will you go and have a look at the other side with the camera? Right, oh, you'll okay. be able to see it through the camera. Yeah. So if I, if I lift it now... Is, it, is this a, a science experiment now, then? <coughs> look at that. You see it? Yeah, I'd love to get a can of WD-40 on that, I really would. To use all my weight. Look at that there. Look at that. That's fantastic, that. I'd love to get my hands on that. Anyway. Alright, okay. What do you think to that then, Chris, in your opinion? Well, I'm pretty impressed, but. It must be someone that used to do that for a living. The, yeah, the switch. The, the switch guy. Yeah, yeah, the switch man. I'll just say, I'll just say. Now, Yvette Fielding, uh, Kieran O'Keefe, and of course Carl Beatty are joining Stuart and Chris very soon indeed. First, though, Carl and Yvette are back here with us. Good evening to Hello. both of you. Good evening. Um, uh, people watching might be wondering why we've come to somewhere comparatively recent. This is a 20th century location. That doesn't mean there are no possibilities here because, of course, we had fantastic. Fantastic results in Norfolk, West Raynham. It doesn't matter how old the building is. Um, I always think that any building could be haunted. And also it depends what was here before the building was built. Um, you know, this has a history. Many things have gone on here. The fact that all the people, well, a lot of the people that work here are so frightened. They're frightened of something. So hence that's why we're here. Well, talking of fear, and I mentioned this to Carl earlier, I thought you were genuinely frightened last night, understandably, mm. when you and Kath sensed that black mass in front of you towards the end of last night's investigation, that kind of mist almost. What was going through your mind then, and has it made you nervous about tonight? No, do you know, it's, it's always the same on uh, Most Haunted, and I'm sure a lot of people that investigate haunted properties. Something will happen to you, and then when you get home, or you get back, in my case, back to the hotel room, 
and you start to rationalise, you start to think about, well, could I have been really tired? Could I have seen something? But the fact that Kath and I saw the same thing, and it was if I'd gone blind, everything just went completely black, and like it was a black mass just right in front of my face, and I couldn't see anything, and it was really quite frightening for a few moments. And how do you feel, Carl, when you're looking back at some of the footage? You can't see everything that's happening at the time. Often you're not with Yvette. You go home and look at it back, and that's your wife there, possibly mm. being attacked by something that both of them are sensing. She deserves it. Now, be serious. <laughs> no, be sensible. I, no, I'm joking. I, I, it is horrible. When it's happening, I mean, obviously, we're, we're, we're here, we're in the zone, but we're, we're finding or trying to find proof of the paranormal. So when something happens, there is a little bit of excitement there because you think, wow, we, we may be getting some proof, some evidence. But then when you look at it in hindsight, you think exactly that. My, my wife's upset, she's fearful, she may be crying. She, you think, I'm supposed to be there to stop that. So there's this huge sort of fight going on. But at the end of that, it's one heck of a great journey. It really is. Mm -hmm. One of the many unusual things about this particular Most Haunted Live is the, uh, the cooperation of a Czech Republic shaman who's been with us with last night with his translator. That gives a real different perspective on the investigation, I think. I was talking to Julian earlier on. I was saying for, for us, as a team, we were very, very excited about having a Slovak with us. And um, I think he brought a whole a different atmosphere, a different feeling to the investigation. Um, and everybody, you could have heard a pin drop because we were all concentrating. We were watching his every move. We were watching his face. And it was really absolutely fascinating to hear what he was coming out with. And uh, I think everybody was very tense as well, you know. Um, and also, I suppose it makes it even more... I don't know if I'm saying this the right way, more real, the fact that you've got somebody who, you know, someone that speaks the language, they're from this particular place, you know, it, it, it's all encompassing. You know? There's also a depth of belief here, as you mentioned earlier, isn't there? Mm. People absolutely accept it. Matter of factly, there is life after death and there are spirits and possibly evil spirits around. Yeah, there are, and I think with, uh, with the use of our shaman yesterday, I thought that that, that to me was... He, he has an absolute belief system, which is different to what we've used before. You know, he's not, he's not trying to promote a book, he's not trying to do stage shows, he's not trying to do some self-promotion. He he's actually believes in what he does, and, and it's great to see that because you hang on every one of his words, mm. and, and it's... He believes what he's doing, and that draws you in because you want to, to, to understand what his beliefs are. Now, I know everybody watching is hooked already. You're about to join Stuart and Chris. The investigation proper gets underway very soon indeed. Good luck to both of you. Stay safe. This is Most Haunted Live in Prague. We're back after this. Hello and welcome back to Most Haunted Live, the second night of a four-night investigation in and around the city of Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic, an ancient city steeped in legend, in myth and mystery, a magnificent city which also goes into the 20th century with this amazing location, an old and now disused waterworks on an incredible scale, the scene of tonight's location, investigation, tonight's vigil in fact. It started earlier with Stuart and Chris, Novet Fielding, Carl Beatty, Dr Kieran O'Keefe and the rest of the team have joined them live and we can start tonight's investigation proper event. Well, thanks very much, Paul. We actually stood outside. It started to rain here in Prague. Earlier on, I think Paul and Julian both mentioned that there was a storm here and it was absolutely amazing. All the sky was lit up. It really did look quite fantastic, Stunning, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. And they all say, don't they, a lot of people that sort of believe in spiritual energy, that to have a storm is it really does help build up the energy and get a lot yeah, of there stuff is, going. there is that theory. There's also the natural side of it, which, of course, the presence of thunder means we're going to get infrasound in some of the locations that we're going to because thunder creates infrasound. Fantastic, which is really good. Now, you've set up some experiments tonight. Just tell us exactly what they are. Yes, specifically I focus on the workshop area mm -hmm. and I've set up a couple of trigger object experiments. Now, the viewers at home can see those. I think it's on webcam two in the workshop area. Now, I've chosen tools from this particular location but I've also chosen tools and moved them away from where they're meant to be. So that, yeah. so that if there are actually spirits there, they'll in a way get aggravated that I've taken tools out of another workshop oh, I and see. put them into that So one. they're not in the right place. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, we've just come down a really, really long staircase. It's pitch black in here. I've not been here at all. I'm a bit disorientated, to tell you the truth. I don't even know where we are. What is this place? It's the switch. switch it's the switch. It's yeah. amazing. Look at this massive domed ceiling. And of course, we've got um, Matt here, and we've got Guy, and we've got Simon, and Carl, and Kath, 